Dub the Circus. for Jerry of the Circus. Jerry? Jerry, here I am, Whitey. Yeah, how's Jason doing now? Oh, he's up again. Yeah, I see him now. Bunk said he had a close call. He sure did. Hey, look, Whitey, he's going to make that panther jump through the ring of flame after all. Yes, sir, he is. Uh, that fellow must have nerves of iron. He won't come out of that steel until he finishes his act. He did it. He did it, Whitey. Freak went through the fire after all. Jason deserves a lot of credit, Jerry. He never thought he could do it. Freak was so mad. The way he snarled at him when he jumped on Jason. You should have seen it, Whitey. My heart was in my mouth. Yeah, Bumps told me it looked pretty serious, all right. Well, he's safe now. Hm. Well, I gotta get back to the horse stuff. I'll see you later, Jerry. Okay, Whitey. I'm gonna stay here for a minute and talk to Jason when he comes off. Then I gotta see Flats about something. All right, Jerry. I won't be needing you at the horse stop this afternoon, anyhow. Oh, hello, Borch. Hey, did you see Jason? He was in great danger, Whitey. Yeah, I saw him. Close call, all right. I wanted to tell you, Whitey, how pleased I am with the care you are giving my horses of late. Oh, I'm glad to hear you're satisfied. Satisfied? I'm delighted. Keep up the good work, Whitey. Sure, sure, sure. Well, uh, there is my wagon. I, I leave you now. I must hurry and dress. Okay, all right, Borch. Olga! Yes, Boris. I have just been talking with Patsy again. Good, Boris. You are really getting friendly now. Friendly? <laughs> Patsy and I are more than friendly. We are getting along wonderful. She is wearing my bracelet, isn't she? Yes, Boris, and that is good. It is perfect, my sister. I do not think it would be long until Patsy is a member of the Russo family. And a most welcome addition with her money. <laughs> <laughs> the Russos are clever people. Yes. <laughs> Again tonight after the show, we are going out together. You will propose to her then? No, 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 no not so fast. In good time, I will talk of marriage. Well, now I must hurry and change clothes. Uh, get my blue suit down and brush it well. So why do you dress now? Because now I take the charming and wealthy Patsy to dinner. I thought you said tonight you were going to take her out. No, oh, yes, tonight also, but now to dinner. I do not think I am overdoing my attentions to her. <laughs> she likes me, Olga. <laughs> she likes me. Hey, my shoes. Uh, where are my shoes? Here, Boris, here are your shoes that, and polish, too, you will notice. Uh, good. Uh, thank you, sister. Uh, a clean shirt now, please. Yes, Boris. Yeah, hot chew, boobish, kid. Oh, hot chew, boobish. <laughs> I feel young again, sister. This is not an unpleasant task, making love to such a beautiful young lady. Uh, how do I look, Olga? You want me to tell you that you are handsome? <laughs> no, that will not be necessary. The looking glass tells me that. Here is your hat. And it is a wonder the small hat fits such a big head. You say that in jest, I hope. Of course, Boris. My gloves. Uh, where are my gloves? In your pocket, Boris. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, in my pocket. Well, well I go now. Goodbye, Boris. And I will be back in plenty of time for the show. Uh, tell Nicholas to have everything ready and readiness for the act. Everything will be ready, Boris. Uh, what is the matter, Eggs? Don't you appreciate such fine singing? I guess you have never heard such fine singing before. Right here. Oh. Oh, hello, Bora. Hello, Jerry. Rags, I guess, doesn't like to hear me sing. Were you singing? Of course, of course. What do you think I do? Holler fire? Oh, I didn't mean it that way. I meant that, well, I didn't hear you. 
Oh, hello, Boris. You look pretty, uh, well, I might say spiffy. Yes, I think I will say that. You look spiffy, Boris. Spiffy? Spiffy? What is this, spiffy? <laughs> it means you look good. You're all dressed up. Oh, I am always dressed up. Of course, I look a little better now, because I am dressed for a special reason. Oh, so that's it. Uh, yes, I am taking Patsy out to dinner. <laughs> oh, mm-hmm. And what's the matter with our own mess tent for dinner? The food always tastes good to me. Don't know why it shouldn't be good enough for anybody. No, the food, it is all right. It is good, but, well, after all, the mess top is hardly a place to take a young lady. You are, how you say, courting? Oh, oh, yes, yes. Mm. Mm. Oh, come on, Slat. Uh, where are you two going at this hour of the day? Uh, we're going over to see Rosa. Ah, uh, fortune-telling. Mm. <laughs> and what's the matter with fortune-telling? Well, I do not believe in such foolishness. Uh, that is for children and weak-minded people. Well, you might call Jerry a child. And as for me, perhaps I'm weak-minded. But I do believe in mystic powers. Yes, I do, Boris. Rosa has said a lot of things that came true. Why, you only make yourself believe that. Just the same. I lost my rhinestone ring, and I'll just bet you she can tell me where it is. No, all right. Have your fun. Uh, I must go now. I have more important things to... <laughs> so he's taken Patsy out again. Hmm, called me weak-minded, did he? A lot of shouting he can do. The idea... Uh, let's forget it. Nothing we can do anyway. I sure don't like the way he pays so much attention to Patsy. Seems to me you do an awful lot of worrying for other people, Jerry. Oh, I can't help it. They're my friends, and I like to see them happy. Of course you do. Of course you do, Jerry. Well, look. We're in luck. There's Rosa outside her tent. Oh, good. Hello, Rosa. <laughs> Greg, now what did I just tell you? Well, let him go, Jerry. He's going right over to Rosa. Greetings to you, Jerry and Flat. Ah, you, you busy, Rosa? Busy? No, sir. Just doing a little needlework is all. I'm going to ask your favor, Rosa, if you don't mind. Not at all. Not at all. What is it, Flat? Slats lost a ring, and he thought maybe you could help him locate it. A ring? My goodness. Well, that's too bad. I'm sorry, Slats. Oh, it, it ain't so valuable, Rosa. It's just my rhinestone ring I wear with my costume. But I'm funny about things like that. I just don't feel right without it. Mm, of course you don't. I can understand. Come into the tent. I will look into the crystal, and we shall see if we can find where you lost it. He looked every place for it. Been searching for hours, I have. Now, you sit right down there, Rags, and we'll be right out. Uh -huh. Come down, Slats. And, Jerry, you sit on that box there. I hope I'm not putting you to any bother, Rosa. Oh, no, 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 no. It's no bother. I'm glad to do what I can. Let me have a look now. It beats me how you can look into a piece of glass like that and see things. Shh. I'm sorry. She has to concentrate. Yes, I know. I see. Aha. Uh -huh. uh, what is it, Rosa? Just a minute. It is blue. No, no, it's a gold ring with a big rhinestone. No, no, no. It is blue. The coat. The coat? Yes. Let me see now. It is the same coat you have on. I don't believe I get what you're driving at, Rosa. The ring. It is in the pocket of that coat you have on. Oh, that's once you're wrong, Rosa. Slats looked in every one of the pockets before he put it on. I saw him. Rosa is not wrong. The ring is in the coat. That makes me awful dumb, because I sure gave the coat a good going over. I even turned the pockets inside out. Take off your coat, Slats. Let me look through it. Okay. Uh... There, there it is. The crystal does not lie. And the crystal says the ring is in the coat. Not here. I don't think you'll find it, Rosa. You couldn't look any better than Slats did. Not here. Wait. Find something? I think I did. And I think I have found the missing ring. What? Just wait now. Yes. That is it. That's what it is, all right. Where? Right here in the lining. You see? You have a hole in this pocket, and the ring fell down into the lining here. Here it is. Well, I'll be switched. If that isn't the best I ever did see, I, I'm... <laughs> well, I'm... Uh, how do uh, Say, Rosa. Yes, Jerry? I was wondering. Well, would you mind very much You if... want your fortune told, don't you? Well, yeah, I was going to ask if you would. Sure, I will. I'll just have a look in the crystal and see what's in store for you, Jerry. Only tell him the good news. I will tell him all I see. Well... This is something I cannot understand. What is it, Rosa? I see you dressed as a soldier. Yes. You've got a uniform on. <laughs> That's a good one. Me, a soldier. <laughs> I've always told you the truth, Jerry. That's what I see here. Maybe you're going to join the army. Ah, <laughs> oh, quit kidding. I'm too young to join the army. Wait. There are many trees around you. Big, beautiful trees. But that couldn't be. Don't you see, Rosa? Rosa sees you in a uniform and you will be in one. I got it. I know what it is. What's that? You're going to get a new uniform for your act with El Mundo. I'll bet you're right. That's just what it is. No. You are not with the circus when you're wearing this uniform. Not with the circus? No. 
say I am too going to be with the circus. I'm always going to be at the circus. I'm only telling you what is in the crystal jar. You will see. Rosa will be right again. When is this going to happen? No, I do not know. It's hard to say, but you will find out. It will come true, Jerry. Is that all you see for me? Yes, Jerry. That is all this time. Thanks, Rosa. Maybe you can tell me more about it later. Yes. I'll try some other time, Jerry. Well, come on, soldier. Okay, Slats. And thanks for helping me out, Rosa. You're welcome. Come and see me again. Okay, we will. Goodbye. Come on, Ray. Oh, you're going to be a soldier. What's the matter? Isn't the circus good enough for you? Now, don't kid me, Slats. You know as well as I do that Rosa's wrong this time. Don't kid yourself, Jerry. If she saw you in a uniform when she looked into that crystal of hers, then you're going to be in one. Of course, she protected herself by not predicting when it would be. That was sure a good one on you when Rosa found your ring in the lining of your coat. Mm Mm-hmm. Now I'm in for it, I guess. What do you mean? I suppose you'll never quit kidding me about it. Oh, I won't kid you at all. That could happen to anybody. I'm glad you look at it that way, Jerry. You gonna wash up first? Now, what are you talking about? Wash up first? <laughs> and before what? Before we go to eat. Hey, that's right, that's right. Uh-huh. It's about time for the flag to go up. Yep. Well, let's go over to the wagon and wash up a little and put rags in your wagon and get over and take on some food, huh? Hmm, that sounds perfect to me. Uh, hi there. Who's that? <laughs> oh, it's Whitey. Hello, Whitey. <laughs> Are you going over to eat? Uh, yep, <laughs> getting a head start tonight. Uh, say, Jerry. Uh, yeah, Whitey? You know, I, I took a little nap after the matinee, and I fell asleep, and I had a dream about you. About me? Mm-hmm. And it sure was funny. Uh, you know, you had a soldier suit on, and you kept marching back and forth between two big trees. What? Mm-hmm. You're not kidding, Whitey. Well, of course not. <laughs> What's all the excitement about? I'm just telling you about a little dream I had. Listen, I just had my fortune told by Rosa Rossi, and she told me just about the same thing. Uh-huh. Maybe she saw Whitey's dream in her magic crystal. Well, there's nothing to a dream. Well, the only reason I told you about it was because you looked so swell in that uniform you had on. Dreams very seldom come true, Jerry. I know, I know, but... Rosa said I was by some big trees, too. And what Whitey said and what she said is just about the same. Oh, (laughs) now, Jerry, don't get yourself all steamed up over nothing at all. Yeah, just take it easy and and wait and see what happens. (laughs) 